They're building a robot now with, John, help me. That's right. Google. How much more intelligence? A than billion that? times the brain power of a human. Can, do you believe that? Come on. Sure. Yeah. You yeah. got a big, can I touch your brain? Yeah. You got a big brain. <laughs> I mean, you do. You really do. You're smart. Oh, You're the smartest man I know, her. I think. <laughs> But they're building, they're brain? building a thousand, a mil, a billion times, billion times. Mm -hmm. smarter than you or me right. or anybody. That they say they're, they, and they're, they, they're creating this being or this machine as their god. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that right, John? Isn't that what it says in the news? It is. In matter Have of you fact, guys read it? Well, the new well, yes. church, the way of the what is it? It's called, called the way, the way, of, the way of the future. future. Yeah, they are planning to worship the new AI overlords. Right. Because they assume that an artificial intelligence that does become sentient and is that powerful will essentially want to use mankind or erase us, so we'd better get in line and start worshiping, worshiping it now. It, yes. Right. And, and, and here's, yeah. what, here's what I believe. So this uh, Anthony Lewandowski that yeah. you're talking about is a right. former Google executive. Uh, that just And he's already filed all the paperwork with the IRS. They are a brand new religion, the way of the future. They, <laughs> they, are, they are planning to uh, worship, C3? Yeah, worship yeah. an, AI, uh, uh, an yeah. AI God. Um, now, um, I think, because technological singularity is coming. Now, what do I mean by that? Yeah. Yeah. That, that? That is the moment in which an artificial intelligence is going to suddenly come alive. It's going to develop consciousness. What? It's going to become an I am that I am. Mm -hmm. And it will be literally trillions of times more powerful than every Einstein that has ever lived in terms of its ability to calculate. It'll outwit humans before you even know what the question is, right? Yeah. And I think the book of Revelation talks about this when it says, mm -hmm. and they had power to give life unto the image of the beast and that they would cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark of the beast, to worship the beast. I think that's exactly what the book of Revelation was talking about. So this coming year, we are assembling a panel from around the world. You remember this last year we had our conference sold out. Yes. We had it at the yeah. Mansion Theater, had 3,000 people. There are 40 countries around the world Amazing. watching us via live stream, yes. uh, sold out in 60 days. We plan this going to happen again, but guess what? That this, was right here in Branson. Right here yeah. in Branson, but this year. Now I know why I moved here. <laughs> this year, that is exactly what we will be taking on, is the, new, the emergence of the new AI religion. Now, why in particular are we doing this? Well, it's going to be because we're publishing a book that will be coming out after the first of the year called The Milieu. Welcome to the resistance. Why? Because the University of London, one of the professors at the University of London just yes. wrote an academic paper that was accepted into the peer-reviewed Zygon, which is both a, it's a science and religion journal. And in there he talks about horns, me, horns, oh. me, Lou, yes. right? The University of <laughs> London just identified me, Skywatch Television, Derek and Sharon Gilbert, the whole, oh me, Lou just means community, horns oh. community, right? Uh, and he is warning the, tra he's a, and it's totally, his worldview is yeah. anti antithetical to us, right? A totally different worldview. Yeah. He is warning the transhumanist community that they're going to have to deal with us, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the bioethics that we are raising around this. He, he issue. actually calls you anti, right? Well, he anti transhumanist. Calls us the leaders of the resistance. The leaders of the resistance, oh, right? Lord. Yeah. <laughs> so our whole conference is going to be based on the Melu. Welcome to the resistance. But we're bringing in experts from around the world. Not all of them, uh, uh, by the way, um, Hugo de Garris. Right. He was a uh, professor at, at uh, the Artificial Brain Institute of... Uh, Siam University. Y yes, in, in China, China yeah. uh, where they were building what they call neural networks, which are essentially artificial brains. The thing, and he admitted this in an interview that I did with Hugo, uh, that he said, we weren't doing science, we were doing engineering. In other words, we, we put input into these black boxes that do this thinking, and we would get output but we have no idea what's going on inside right. the black boxes. Right. They're creating these artificial brains, and they don't know how these things work. Right. These things right. communicate with each other in their own language, and now one of them's essentially given birth. Right. There was an incident now, at that was Facebook. Google? 
Yes, Google did this. There was an incident a few months ago where Facebook engineers had two artificial intelligences communicating with each other. Right. And they realized after a period of time that they were communicating in a language they, the, the engineers didn't read, that they right. never programmed in. They, they, couldn't rec they couldn't figure out what they were saying to one another. So they very quickly pulled the plugs. Right. Because they really? didn't know what was going on. Right. These things had developed their own language to communicate more rapidly than the engineers and so the programmers could So are you saying man is creating their own being? Yeah. Is this, a, we, this we is are, not God's we, creation? We are no. racing towards it. We are racing towards it. And here's the other thing about Hugo de Garris. He's eminently qualified. He ran the Zion University Artificial Brain Development for China <laughs> for 20 years. My. He is a brainiac. He wrote a book that's called The Artelect War. Yes. Now, what does he mean? Artelect means artificial intellect. Artelect. It's a word that he created. The Artelect War. And it is like reading some of the darkest parts of the Old Testament. In mm -hmm. fact, this guy's a prophet running from his calling, I yes. think, right? He says that the moment that this artificial intelligence comes online, it is going to give birth to Armageddon. He says literally billions of humans are going to die in a very short period of time. So this is ushering in the last days. That's what he believes. That's exactly. Yes, exactly. And he's not writing this from a Christian point of view. In fact, we're helping Hugo. When we, when, when we first met Hugo, he was an avowed atheist. He's moved to agnostic. You know why? Because he has said he can no longer deny order in the universe that is based on design. And he said any scientist that denies this is lying, right? Mm -hmm. So he's, he's, we're wow. moving Hugo along here, right? But yeah. <laughs> I love this. But he describes, oh, he, he describes a coming war. He said the, the biggest political conflict in the 21st century will not be over water or political rights. or relig It'll be over whether or not humanity should upgrade and become cyborgs, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.